Hey folks, welcome back. After our strange journey into AI recipes, I wanted to fire back with my own awesome and unique creation. We're going to put together something using unsalted cashews, fenugreek, mint, and cardamom. Check this out. I have two cups of raw unsalted cashews. Pick out your three favorite green cardamom pods and toss them in. Double it if you like flavor. Top the container off with water and let it hang out overnight. We're going to need a ton of mint, so roughly chop up as much as you can find. If you don't use it all for this recipe, it'll make great tea. In a large mixing bowl, we're going to add a cup of high quality yogurt, three teaspoons of mint, three teaspoons of fenugreek, one teaspoon of salt, and give it a good stir. Chop some chicken thighs into bite-sized pieces, add to your marinade, and let it chill in the fridge overnight as well. Fast forward to the next day and we need to drain your nut mix. Keep the nut water and we'll use it to thin out our gravy later. Add your drained nuts to some kind of blender and turn it into paste. Mint some garlic and dice some onion, no need to go fast in a home kitchen. Keeping with the AI's tropical theme, we're going to melt coconut oil in a hot pan. Add your chicken pieces and fry for a minute on each side. This is what happens when your pan gets too hot. And this is what it should look like. Set the chicken aside, but don't eat it yet. It's braised, but not fully cooked. Get a teaspoon of cumin seeds in before the pan overheats again. And after 30 seconds, you're free to add your garlic and then onion. Once everything softens and gets some color, stir in your nut paste and top off with a can of coconut milk. If you find your gravy chunky like this, add back some nut water until it doesn't clump. Simmer on low for at least 20 minutes, and then add a teaspoon of salt, three teaspoons of fenugreek, three teaspoons of mint, and all the chicken. Keep simmering on low for at least half an hour until the chicken cooks. At this point, taste and fix to your liking. You can punch it up with some more fragrant spices if you need more flavor, or add more oil and salt for that restaurant junk food experience. We'll split it up for the week with a side of plain rice. Now for the test. One of my biggest complaints about the AI sauce was how thin the sauce was, so let's check this out. The fork test passes. The flavor's creamy and hearty with a good spice balance, and it goes great with mint tea. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.